I also so annoyed that you always have to manually switch on the light strip you have for your TV. Stop! Right now we have a solution for this and that's what we're gonna take a look on. So we are here in the Home Assistant Community Store right now where we have to search for the integration we need, the Goovy integration. And we use Goovy Learn Control for now because also the Goovy one is working or used to work because I had some problems and there were some problems uh, in some time but it should work now but we are still um, I can tell you the Goovy LAN control worked and never disappointed me yet and so I would uh, say use this one so we are going to just click on it and would normally install it because I only already have it installed so I don't need to and now don't forget to restart your home assistant like it would say in the settings here, uh, there would be a one and it would tell you to restart required. You would restart and then the integration is activated. So now you need to move to the integrations and would normally, I already have it here, you can see it. Where is it? Govi, Govi, Govi lights. You would do add integration, just search for Govi, then take the Govi learn control because you won't have another and just click it and you would be done. But you have your API key now, get, yeah, got from your email, just type it in or copy it, paste it and then submit and your devices will appear with the name you have also in your app, which is very, very nice. And you can already see that I have some automations here. What we also can see now in the automations is that there is a HomeKit device that is failing to set up. And this is basically my TV, the LG WebOS TV whatever number please and it cannot yeah connect because the tv is turned off right now and homekit doesn't know what kind of thing what this media player is doing and we also have different options like doing it with a smart plug with energy measurement but i consider this later and show you how to do this first of all we have a look at the automation that is turning off the light strip and it's fairly easy to do because we have our media player here. It's called uh, LG WebOS TV, integrated by HomeKit for me right now. But you have also some others, maybe like my uh, Samsung uh, TV. And it's maybe possible for them too, because they are not connected to HomeKit at all. Maybe they just need to have Wi-Fi and it's already fine because you know what they are doing. If they are available, if they are on or not. And it's enough. It's way enough. It's fairly easy because we have to check just that if the TV turns to off, yeah, of course, it's off. So you want to turn the light off. It needs a bit, so you will have a light delay, but not that much and not as much as doing it manually. All we have to do is turn the light off. So this is the action. This is very easy. And we can also see it in a YAML here. And this YAML is also on my website, on the blog, on my blog. You can see it in the description down below. Just copy it from there so you don't have to type it yourself. And it's everything I told, tell you here is also written down on my website. So if we have a look now to turn on the lights, it's basically the same, but with a slightly difference. Because now we have to check if it comes from being unavailable, because as you have seen, my device now is not recognized in HomeKit because it's offline, so you cannot see if the media player is playing on idle. He just knows it's not available, but it's okay for us because it gets available as soon as I turn the TV on. And that's enough. You can also do it else. If I mean, if you have something like for your TV, for your media, media player, like standby, and you are going to on, it's also fine. That's the first one. But we also have the possibility, at least for me, that you have your TV turned off, but directly turned on again. Like it wasn't changing to not available. So we need to check something different. I use the source attribute here because we can set it to what we are going to look because it changes then. Like if you are using live TV normally or using your HDMI 2, Maybe you have some TV box or something like this. And if it's switching to this, it's also fine because 
it knows then this is the trigger and turns again the light on as you can see here very simple you just choose your light strip and it's done and that's basically it but i also want to show you right now how it can be done if you don't have some home kit like i said and do it with some um, smart plug with um, energy measurement then you would just add a trigger and also say maybe entity um, you have some numeric state i would say maybe we look at my desk my desk power right now and would say we have a fixed number and we would say what can we say if my tv is above 20 watt it should be on maybe there are some that are in idle 20 watts but i don't think so my server is not even using so much in not in idle the running of course you could do the same thing right now to turn it off with it when you can say the below mode you can say if it's below 20 then please turn it off so very easy no problem and the third method that i can mention but i haven't tested it yet but it can be possible if you have a router that is accessible here also in home assistant then you could also uh, measure the network traffic of your TV and see if there's network traffic, it should be online. And then you can have this kind of trigger. And yeah, that's basically it. And what can I say? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I could uh, help you a little bit to automate your life and see you. Bye bye. <laughs>